Easy peeps, and welcome back to another episode. I've started from the bottom, the road to glory. Right, let's do another squad builder. With all of the fantastic La Liga cards that are available this week through weekly objectives, a la the Condogbia and the Joe Felix, and then of course the footies winner Griezmann. Let's do a La Liga squad builder. Now, we could have so much better players in here. So we've used a combination of what is available via weekly objectives, what's been available via SBCs, and then a couple of cheapy beasts thrown in. You will notice on the bench, of course, you can't have a La Liga squad builder without Messi. However, I couldn't afford his team of the season. So we're just going to stick that there. Don't tell anybody. Shh, that's between me and you. And then that same with Vicinius Jr. as well. So let's kind of ignore the subs. We've got kind of a beastly start in 11. So first up in goal, we've got Oblak for just under 80,000 coins. Then we've got Jesus Navas for 23,000 coins. Dijeni for 37,000 coins. Hamosa, who is an untradeable card, looks pretty beastly, man. Does look very, very good. Um decent stats on him 84 stamina 98 jumping hey man this card looks very very good for a cheap beast uh left back we've gone and bought jordi alba it's obviously between him and marcelo 231,000 coins for that the beast condogbia which is available from weekly objectives this week uh pareo who is probably the worst player in the team but because we've got him we're going to use him uh and obviously the league is a little bit short on immense cams who kind of have to bring the striker down um, and I think we've got too many attacking-ish players. So with his 84 defensive and his 84 physicality, we need somebody that's a little bit more holding. However, that pace at 60 is a bit of a mess. Then we've got the beast show, Felix. We've played one, scored one. Not bad. Quality. Uh, and then we're going to play Hazard off chem, purely because it's 97 Hazard. You know what I mean? Uh, and unless we get somebody like Team of the Season, Team of the Year, Modric in, nobody's going to beat this card. So we're going to put Hazard in off chem, even off chem. His stats are immense so it won't you know it won't really affect him whatsoever then up top we have a day but for footies winner griezmann Whew. probably with his high high more suited to being in that camp position so he could track back and go forward but we're going to play him up top with his tag team partner ben yedder now we've used this card before this card is amazing and again with his high high work rate probably suited more to the cam so we've probably got strikers that are more suited to like being like ramalams or cams or something because of the work rates but in terms of finishing you ain't getting much better than ben yedda and griezmann so let's head into a few division rivals games and test out this beastly la liga team right then let's get into some footage overall we ended up playing around about nine games with this squad um we lost some. We, of course, did lose some. <laughs> I think one we got absolutely battered on. He did have a monster team. It was full of, like, team of the years and all that. But, honestly, this team isn't that, you know, isn't too shabby. The main place it is shabby, which is why we got battered on a few games, is defensively. Um, we've got height issues with this squad defensively. But in the tackle, they're really good. You know, one-on-one -on -one tackling, they're, they're really good. They've got great agility. You know, pretty decent balance. They can take on a, de you know, take on a defender tackling as we score there with an absolute banger from, from, from Pareo. Um, it's just defensively, it kind of struggled on crosses. It struggled on corners. It struggled just, you know, just in the usual mechanics of FIFA 19. And, of course, the bounce backs and the tackles where the defense wasn't as strong as obviously some of the attackers we were facing however attacking wise this team was really really good obviously spearheaded by Griezmann um Hazard obviously of course you know you know you what you're going to get with Hazard you're going to get agility and balance same with uh, Tots Ben Yedda but obviously we're focusing on Griezmann as Griezmann bangs it in there with his left foot now that was a little bit of an issue for me I do have to be honest um because we play all year predominantly with right footy players you kind of just get them you know a muscle memory in the fact of right we're going to shoot on the right now Griezmann is a left footy player with a three star weak foot so if you're on the right you will miss a few chances here and there as he's you know his right foot isn't as strong so you just have to kind of get yourself back in the zone and remember that he's actually a left footed player however when you do bang it with his left foot it goes in, man. His left foot is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, as we head into uh, this game now against a really beast team of the season, 
uh, like La Liga, um, sorry, League One hybrid kind of setup with uh, Serie A as well. Now, this was a weird game, man. It was very, very heavy. Um, a lot of what you would call trampy FIFA goals, where you go for tackles like that one and you just can't seem to get the ball off them. Uh, a few kickoff goals, you know, just, you know, just the usual FIFA 19 stuff, which can't be helped. But what can be helped is when you can't defend. And unfortunately, we couldn't defend in this game. It was a little bit of a struggle. Um, one on one tackles were great, like that I said, but it was more the crossing and stuff like that, where the positioning of the defenders as Griezmann bangs another one there with his left foot. The position of the defenders, they just didn't have a scooby. If you look at this here, nobody's tracking that runner there. We, it gets all confuddled. Because it was an air ball, it automatically links onto a player there. Nobody's near the attacker and we end up conceding a goal there. But quick breaking wise, this team was absolutely phenomenal as you would expect with Hazard, Joe Felix, Griezmann and Ben Yedda as Griezmann gets in another goal there. Like I said, he's shooting. Griezmann's shooting was fantastic. His dribbling is really, really good. You do notice the three-star weak foot, unfortunately, if you're somebody that is used to predominantly playing on the right. If you use players like Messi or uh, Salah or stuff and you're used to, like, you know, manipulating the play so it does go on the left, then you should be okay. He can score occasionally with his right foot, but it has to be one of those mechanic goals, just like that one, where it is a first-time shot, and you could do a first-time shot with David De Gea from that, and it would go in. It's just the way that FIFA's built. But defensively, we did struggle, so a 4-3 down, but we managed to get ourselves an equaliser through, again, another scabby bit of mechanicalness from FIFA as it's a shot, bounces off the defender, heads straight to our attacker, and then he plays it around for a bit straight from kickoff. We still haven't touched the ball straight from kickoff, and he wins the game straight from kickoff. So that's one of the owls we took along the way. And that one was, you know, half defensive issues from the fact that he can't handle corners or crosses or stuff like that. And then the other half was just FIFA 19 doing FIFA 19 type things. But don't worry, my friends. FIFA 20 is just around the corner. Right then, on to this one. Pareo was fantastic. He didn't really notice his 60-odd uh, pace. Remember, we've got, we haven't got any chem stars on a lot of these players. We just played them naturally. As we get another banger from Griezmann. Like I said, if you can shoot and you've got the area to shoot with Griezmann, just bang it. He can absolutely hit a ball, which is probably his strongest feature. Dribbling is okay. Um... Apart from that, he's a little bit weak. He can be a little bit weak. He can get brushed off the ball, but he can actually bang it. So if you make sure you've got enough space and you don't end up getting you know, hustled off the ball, a bit like Neymar and stuff like that, you will get a few goals with this player. And then we head into our last game here against probably the worst side in terms of on paper that we played out of all of our games. And of course, we do get a win finishing it off beautifully with Griezmann on his left foot again I think he scored seven overall and I think five of them were on his left foot uh, even when they really shouldn't have been you wanted him to bang it with his right but the player animation just kind of manipulated it and he ended up shooting it on his left uh, there him shoot there he is there shooting with his right foot on one on one with the goalkeeper and it bounces off the post because it's just not accurate but we do manage to get a goal there and get the win so we did play nine games with Griezmann, seven goals. I would have liked a lot, of, you know, a little bit more. But the teams at this stage are absolutely nutty. Within them nine games, we probably took three hours as well. Uh, you did see the one out on this video here, and then the two others were just against absolute monster teams, and we just got absolutely thumped. Uh, the defense just couldn't handle catching like Team of the Year Ronaldo, or even Team of the Season Ronaldo, or even the other Ronaldo and the two Ronaldos together. We just couldn't catch up. Defensively, we was okay doing one-on-one -on -one tackles. It was just a height issue and the crossing issue. Obviously, when you've got you know Jordi Alba and stuff like that he isn't the greatest for taking back post crosses and stuff like that midfield wise Pereo and Condogbia I really enjoyed them Condogbia is an absolute rock so if you haven't unlocked the Condogbia he's absolutely fantastic Joe Felix honestly got lost a little bit in this formation as did Tots Ben Yedda. it was kind of all more about Hazard Pereo Condogbia and Griezmann in this formation and Griezmann to round it off he can absolutely bang it is he worth your bucks? I'd say so. I'd say he's absolutely worth the coins that you have to fork out to do the SBC. Just be careful though. His right foot isn't very good as I showed you on that clip earlier. 
he's a left footy player so if you don't like left footy players obviously this isn't the card for you right then my friends that is our Griezmann tots footies the Liga squad brilliant thanks for watching my friends we are out of here catch you in a bit